Hi, my name is Peace. I'm gonna waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to export a GIF through DaVinci Resolve and other free software's websites. So I have my animation right here, but the whole animation is done in Fusion. And you just have your animation like that and you play it. This is everything that it took to make this animation. And basically what I want to do is render it into a GIF, but my animation is in 60 FPS and not 50 FPS. And the way that GIFs work, generally the maximum amount you can get is 50 FPS for your GIF. So what we need to do is change my 60 FPS composition into 50 FPS. And what we need to do is create a different timeline. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring up this panel over here and then click this button over here to get this timeline panel up here. Then we're going to right click our media pool over here, go to timelines, hit create new timeline, name it to whatever you want, then hit the use project settings button. So this panel pops up and you can go to format and change the FPS to 50 over here, just like that. And then hit create and it should pop up. 50 fps composition over here and what we need to do is create a new fusion composition so we'll go to our effects library down to toolbox effects and then fusion composition here and then drag it on to here just like that and i want my animation to be just about a second and a half so around here is going to be good and then let's get that and then what we need to do is go back to our original timeline where our animation is go inside the fusion composition and then copy all the nodes that are here so then what we do is just highlight all these nodes that are here and then copy let's go into our edit page do the new composition go into fusion and let's just paste it down over over here and let's bring our media out just over here and we can connect it and we can see our animation just like this but we need to shrink the animation down so it can fit into a 50 fps composition so what we're going to do now hit Control a and then go into our spline graphics over here or you can go into your keyframes panel i'm just doing it through the spline because it's a little bit easier for me and then you're going to click all these nodes on make sure you have them on and then so you can see all the keyframes on the right side over here you do it for all these nodes all right once you have everything selected you're going to bring your playhead to the end and this is how far we want the animation to go from zero to this part over here so we're going to go into our spline viewer hit Control a highlight all the keyframes then we're going to go down to this time stretch button this is going to allow you to stretch the time however you want usually there won't be a line over here but this is what we're going to click in order to shrink it down and we want it to align with the end of our animation which is around this keyframe that's over here so what we're going to do is look at it and then bring this down to however you like it and then around there is our end of our comp so just around there is going to be good then when i uncheck the time button again it's going to snap those keyframes into place and then we can play our animation back to see how it readjusted the time to our fps and let's just make sure everything is on time just like that once we're happy with our animation what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift space and we're going to add a saver node just like that hit enter and then connect our media out to the saver node so we can see what our media out is then what we're going to do is hit browse and then create a file in our files to house a PNG sequence that we're going to export. So what we're going to do, browse, let's go to, this is a good folder, let's make a new one, folder, see PNG sequence, and we're going to make sure our file name says to all files, and then we're going to change this suffix to PNG, just like I have right now, and then test gif is fine. What we're going to do, open, and then hit save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Fusion button right here. We're going to down to Render All Savers, and it's going to render this out inside Fusion so we can get our PNG sequence that you're going to see in that folder. Once it's done, we're going to see it pop up like this, and we're just going to hit OK. Then we're going to go to the website easygif.com, and this is where we're going to convert our PNG sequence into our GIF. So it says Choose Files. We're going to hit Choose Files and then navigate to that folder that we saved our PNG sequence at. This is it right here. And then you're going to highlight from the top this image go to the bottom and go to this image and then hit open it's going to upload all those files here and then we're going to hit upload and make gif it's going to take a little bit for it to render all right once it's uploaded you can see something like this and you can scroll down you can see all the images that are included in your animation then what we're going to do is you're going to put your delay time to zero then you're going to go down to don't stack frames and make sure that's checked off then we're going to hit make gif and it's going to create our gif right here and you can see Right now, it's very slow. It's not at the correct FPS. So what we're going to do is we're going to click speed. Here, we're going to raise the speed up to where we want. You can go over this number, but it'll caps at a certain point. So even if you put like 800%, then we hit change speed. It's going to be our animation like that. And it's going to be the exact same pace that we have it at. So what you can do from here is just hit save and then save it to your files and there you have it. So if we take a look at our GIF right now, you can see that our GIFs is synced up. They're both going at the correct FPS that they were created in. Now you have your GIF like that. The only caveat is that this is not the exact same resolution as this. That is because the GIF website exports it down to something that's lower than what you exported in at. But if you're just using this for your stream and it's a little pop-up that happens on your screen, it's not gonna make a big difference if it's smaller in pixel size because you're probably gonna scale it down anyway. If you're interested in learning about the five free websites that editors should know, click this video right here. Otherwise, subscribe and have a good day.